The union's northern regional membership was also affected by the closure of Tsudi mine in the northern part of Tsumeb. It's been very challenged because the company were closing, subcontractor were closing because people were forced to minimize the number on site and so on. So that's why we have a challenge. We have lost up to 600 membership, uh, especially here in mine in Tsumeb, where we had lose BNE International, we have lost Baselite Mining and Weathering Mining. Just to mention those fuels that, that we really have lost this uh, mega significant loss. During the last quarter of last year, two of the biggest contractors at B2 Gold, Murray and Robert, and Nuco, also lost their contracts, which again had a severe impact on the membership of the union. The financial report was also not in good shape either. What we received from the head office was only 290,000, and the expenditure as well is 290. Um, we received 20,000 for training. We have spent only 47,000 for that year on the REC. Um, the monthly expenses is 197. Um, and then the office expenses is the 21,000. And the bank charges there is $4,017. For this year, the region has so far received $306,000, which equals to its expenditure. Acting MUN President Alan Kalumbu has encouraged all their members to invest in Namidvest. It will be an investment that will, give, you will get your shares. And shares. When you are at home, communication that what I spoke about, money they are going to declare now to shareholders. So every time Namid Financial will be declaring dividends, you also was there in Tavago Capri where I came from. You also receive your tickets in your pocket. The Northern Regional MUN also elected its new leadership for the next two years. Poco Kim Beruana retained the position of chairperson as well as Jessica Harados for the regional secretary. Godfrey Zadi was elected vice secretary, Veiko Upidi, regional treasurer, deputized by Philemona Shipanga. B2 Gold Branch was, however, not allowed to partake in the voting process because of some irregularities during their branch election, but they were allowed in as observers. Evelyn Polis, NBC News, Tsumeb.